Teacher talking sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in an historic night yesterday in basketball. Spurs coach Greg Popovich gets 1,336 win to break Don Nelson's all-time NBA record this via ESPN. Popovich surpassed Don Nelson, previously held the record for most regular season wins with the San Antonio Spurs 104-102 victory over the visiting Utah Jazz on Friday night. It's just a testament to a whole lot of people. Popovich said something like this does not belong to one individual. Basketball is a team sport. You preach to your players that they have to do it together. And that's certainly been the case in my life with all the wonderful players and coaches. Staff, I've been blessed with the support of this wonderful city. The fans support us no matter what. All of us sharing this record. It's not mine. It's ours it's here in the city. So congrats to Coach Pop. Congrats to uh, the San Antonio area. Congrats to all the former players and current players of his. So I thought I'd take a look. Are there any active coaches that have a realistic chance of possibly surpassing him? On the all-time coaching wins list, as you see, there he is. Uh, took him 368 less games played than Don Nelson. Impressive 65.8 winning percentage in his career. Of course, five championships, uh, six conference championships. Uh, but most likely would have to be Doc Rivers. So Doc Rivers, currently 10th on the all-time wins list, 1,032. Uh, he is currently 60 years old. So let's say he goes 11 and 6 the rest of the year. They have 17 games left this season. The Sixers, he would have 1,043 wins. If the Spurs go 6 and 9 the rest of the season, Pop would have 1,342. We don't know if Pop's going to retire, but let's say he does after the season and Rivers goes 11 and 6 the rest of the year, he would be 299 wins shy of Greg Popovich. So he would have to average 50 wins over the next six seasons in order to break it, which would take him to age 66. The only other guy I see possibly doing it, and he is less likely than Rivers, that would be Eric Spolstra, a longtime Miami Heat coach uh, in his 14th season, 652 wins. Let's say they go 9-5 and five the rest of the season, the Heat. That would bring him to 661 wins. Uh, he's currently 51 years old. He still wouldn't even be halfway to... Greg Popovich, uh, he would need to average 50 wins, and he would get there in his 14th season from now, uh, so 14 seasons after this one, and if he averaged 45 wins, it would take him 16 more years, so again, it's hard to speculate whether Eric Spolster is going to coach that much longer, uh, Doc Rivers, will he still want to coach till he's 66, we really don't know yet. Um, but what do you guys think? Uh, do you anticipate any active coach, specifically probably Doc Rivers, having a chance to break Greg Popovich's all-time wins record? Where do you rank Greg Popovich on the all-time NBA coaching hierarchy? I'm interested to know. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit that subscribe. Like the video. Share the video. Hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.